Hey guys, it's Erica. Finally checking out Ives. I am so excited for this. I really, really love Kitsch. It is actually currently stuck in my head. Um, so really excited to be seeing what they are doing with I Am, since this is the main title track for the album. I do want to do a first listen to the full album. I just don't know when it's going to come out, because I kind of want to... Um, because yeah, I'm trying we're trying to catch up we're a little bit behind still um, and then doing first listens takes a lot of time um, just to record and to edit and upload um, so it I can reactions like this are gonna be very quick to um, record edit and put out um, so but I, I really want to so I, I won't listen to any other other B sites until I can um, do that and again this is there's probably like four or five mini albums that I really mini albums or full albums um, that I do want to check out um, so <laughs> that's on me um, but uh, <laughs> yeah so anyways we're doing I am so yeah you know what it like up okay starting starting shop morning Servant visuals. I think it looks like it's expensive. Okay, vocals. That was a dope transition though. Oh she okay, yeah. Actually the CGI dancing on the plane is really dope. Oh, okay. Okay. I have a word. I like the sleek chic, bougie look of the video. Okay, choreography! Choreography looks very interesting. They're their starship, right? It'll make sense why I mentioned it. I like the nice little suit look. Runway, okay. On the runway. <laughs> runway on the runway. Ooh, drone, hello. Talk about the beauty cuts though, wow. I am in love. I love it so much. Um. I, there's, like, okay, I, I mentioned Starship because, um, it's very, the visual, the black and white style reminds me a lot of the black and white style in Monster X's Beautiful Liar, um, so that's why I mentioned that. I was like, mm, connect, connecting the dots here, um, but I like the look, I like the black and white, there's some gold in there, and I sort of love their sort of, like, bougie, um, type of look to the video. I mean, the girls are glamorous, okay? Um, so, I, I really enjoyed it. I like the sleekness of it. I like the chicness of it. Um, visually, I thought it was really, really stunning, but I like also how sort of simple it appears to be in production, but clearly, it looks like it's their most expensive music video to date, which, love that. I mean, you're coming back with the full album. Let's work it. And I mentioned for Kitsch that they have a lot of, the framing for a lot of their, um, 
shots are always so fascinating to me because I want a beautiful wide for a lot of their sets specifically for like um, stuff for like after like and kitchen stuff. I felt like it's shot very where there's close-ups and stuff but like like take after like they have that robot arm but they don't cut to a lot of those beauty cuts of the shots that they were getting and stuff it was much more about seeing it in the video than actually using those really cool camera shots they did cut to them but it just so quickly and it I felt like I really wanted the edit to be I mean it's a short song right I wanted it to be slowed down to get a little bit more of the appreciation of those shots so I like for this one they went a little bit wider with the shots you get a full appreciation of the scenery of what's happening of what they're doing um and I really really love that there's some great transitions the dancing on the plane crazy and when she jumped out of the plane crazier that was really dope um but yeah I think the song is really amazing I've heard people describe like I've does like emotional pop and I really I really feel that like I think that's what this really sort of hits home there's a sort of something that almost makes you just like emotional about it and sort of um being like the best version of yourself or the true version of yourself I think is a really dope uh, concept for them that they haven't um, done before. Most of the times it's been, you know, love songs, you know what I mean? Um, in terms of like after like love dive and stuff, but there's something, I don't know, that just feels so like when you have something that appears to be their biggest music video and the success that they've had um, and you pair that with um, what they're talking about in the song it just kind of hits a little different and stuff and it sort of makes me want to um it's a good i guess like motivational type of song if that makes sense but yeah visually the music video was stunning the choreography looks very very interesting um i think everybody killed it i think vocally also probably their most i don't know like showing off the vocal type of song does that make sense um like vocally it's very very interesting so um i really really overall enjoyed it i think so far this is their best comeback and it feels so i it feels so just like true to them and i really like it the visual style really worked for me everything really worked i cannot wait to check out those b-sides because those single albums are really really nice and the um well it, they're always really really cool to check out so and i really like the b-sides that they do for that so that's why i really wanted to do a first listen to the album again I'm gonna do it. I just don't know when it's gonna come out. So it'll it'll be around somewhere. It'll come out. It might be a year from now. Who knows? But um, it won't be. But, but yeah, go to put your thoughts in the comments down below. What you thought about Ives? I am. If you like this video, give this video a thumbs up. If you liked me and want to see more of my videos, go and hit that subscribe button. If you want to see my videos the second they come out, hit that notification button. Want to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, or description down below. Or at the end, screen share this video to your friends. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. 19's kids.